Welcome to Raj Online Trainings. In the series of Java puzzles, let us go with one more new puzzle in this video. Here we have taken a Java puzzle 15 with main method inside and we have taken a variable x whose value is y. And two Boolean variables b1 equal to true and b2 equal to false. And we are comparing the condition here. If x equal to 6 and b1 equal to false, we are printing the message x and y. And again, we are going to take one more if condition, b2 equal to true and b1. Then it's going to print the value z. Else, it's going to print the value p here. Just we are just displaying the messages. Now, let us see the options for this. The option A is it's going to print the message x and y. Then B option is z. C option is yz. And D option is p. Now let us see what will be the correct output of this code. Understand carefully somewhat tricky question here. Observe here the value of x is what here? 5 and b1 is true and b2 is false. Now comes here if x equal to 6. So the first condition is what here? False. The first condition is false and b1 equal to false. The initial value of b1 is what here? True. So we think that true equal to false. So this is false condition. You should not think in that way. B1 equal to false means it is assignment operator. False will come and store into B1. So what is the value of B1 now? The value of B1 will become no false. The value of B1 will become false here. So x equal to 6, this condition is false. This is also false. Then both the conditions are false. So it won't come and execute this line of code. It won't come and execute this line of code. But what about this? Is this statement belongs to if? No. If there is no curly brace, if there is no curly brace, it is going to consider only one statement. So this highlighted line is not part of if, then it's going to execute this line, right? Then it's going to print here y. It's going to print y. Then. After that comes to next if condition, if b2 equal to true and b1, b2, what is the value of b2 will become no? Initially it is false. Now since we have done assignment, it will become true. So this condition is what? True now. And b1, what's the value of b1? False. So true and false, false only. So this line of code will not get executed. It, this condition is false totally. Then else. So since the condition is false here, if this condition is false, comes to else part and it's going to print here what? P. It's going to print P. So the output is what here? Y and P. But if you see here, there is no option called as Y and P. Then what is the correct output of this code? What is the correct output? So whatever the explanation I've done here, it is a wrong explanation. See here, very, very important one. So even this option is present. Some people will mark this one as this option. But even this is also not the correct one. Then what is the correct option for this? Let me explain here. Now, understand carefully. See here, x equal to 6. So this condition is false. No worries. So when this condition is false, when the first condition is false, and when we are using this logical and, when we are using this logical and, when one condition becomes false, when first condition is becoming false, it won't compare this condition at all. It won't compare this at all. So the, it won't come to this line of code. So B1 equal to false will not get executed at all. Because when one condition is false, it won't compare the remaining conditions at all. So since first condition is false, it's not going to the remaining condition. So B1 will still remain as what here? True only. B1 will still remain as true. It won't become false because this piece of code will not get executed. Since one condition is false, the entire condition will become false here. This is false. Then this line of code will not get executed. And since this line of code is not part of if this line of code will execute, then it's going to print Y. Then comes to the next if here. B2 equal to true. B2 equal to what? True. So assignment operator. So this condition will become true. And B1. What's the value of B1? As it is true only. 
so this is also true here this is also true so true and true the entire condition will become true since this condition is true this also will execute it's going to print here to set it won't come to else part because this condition is true it won't come to else part this line of code will not get executed so the correct result is what here y and z so the correct output of this program is c option that is y z here so very very important one very tricky question please go through it once again and find the solution properly choose the correct options properly that's about in this video so we'll be adding new videos like this thank you please subscribe like and share